Lee, hoof stomp, double Lee edge as well as just getting that blink to be the initiator for complexity. They're gonna have the blink. Or take a look down low, Elaine, which to me I thought would be a little bit more aggressive. You've got Moon, you've got Swindle Melons, and hopefully. In a little while, you'll have Z Freak come on through, get yourselves a couple of kills for complexity. At least that's what they'll be hoping for. But meanwhile, mid, we get the Slytherin Crush out on 747. They're really trying to dive in. There's the Sun Strike and almost takes out Eternal Envy, but they will be able to. You know, one kill goes the way of NP early. It goes on the Alchemist. Something you really don't want to give up is an early lead. Rose will just keep, keep himself in early level six. So you're going to have two in Magic Missile thus far, one in that wave of terror. So rotations that could come over would be pretty nice and right as i say that we do see rose coming over wouldn't be surprised to see a magic missile come out there it is with the wave of terror and now it's actually some fatal bonds coming their way so it makes this a little bit of an issue for the side of np but they'll continue on to get that kill on the brewmaster i'll be fatal bonds he's got the aphotic shield to work with he's almost level six as well as this centaur monkeys forever He's almost level 6 in the double edge. That's really not the smartest play. So the Aphotic Shield, he's going to try and chase him down. I'm not sure why you hoof stomp, especially. 7-4-7, he's farming okay. Has himself his boots. We'll see if he goes for the Midas next. He does have the Gloves of Haste already. Not coming over, SVG might have found himself a little bit of trouble as Z Freak is here. No creeps to deny yourself to SVG. And there go the trees and there goes your life. Z Freak sitting in this jungle farming well gets a little bit of boost in the money. Don't put me out of my misery yet. Big of a split as I thought it would be with an alchemist in the game, and that's really due to complexity doing very well right now. And Z Freak, who's been farming like God in that jungle. Actually, coming over is a UI looking for a kill. The magic missile comes out on Swindle Mountains. He's gonna find himself in a whole bunch of trouble. The aphotic shield is popped, and there with the wave of tear out on 747, Z Freak. Freak still farming very well. He's got a Midas of his own. We have seen this a couple times. When Z Freak jungles him. Trying to get out is going to be SVG, but gets spotted by the Centaur Monkeys. Ready to Radiant's middle. 250 health, still trying to run away. He's going to use that one to keep himself up. They get another stun out on him, but AY still alive. The primal split is no more. But he's backed himself all the way deep past this river. And now they're going to try and get themselves to kill the stun charge up. There's the blink with the Slytherin Crush. They get the Echo Stomp as well. There's no way out, 747. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Monkeys, he might find himself in a little bit of trouble. He's forced to use that ulti now trying to get away, but the swap is there as well as the magic missile. They're going to get the chaotic offering out on three, but that's not going to keep him alive. And now blinking in his move, trying to get a good thunderclap. He doesn't have his ulti. He doesn't have enough mana for it anyway. And no black hole. Radiance, of course, as is tradition and very low. He is going to be spotted under this ward. There's the sun strike right on the money. And that ward vision there. Radiance today, they continue to keep the pressure on this mid tier one. Echo Stomp comes through on a couple. Earth Splitter getting thrown on through. There's the Swither and Crush. Earth Splitter. And now the double edge from Monkeys trying to make something happen on the turnaround. They will get a kill on Rose, but they lose Z Freak. Really the big team fighter for their side on complexity. And the swap comes back from 747. Coming in with the Thunderclap as well as the Primal Split is going to be moved. Trying to make something happen as we do see this Elder Titan getting very low. The double edge comes on through. He's going to be dead. Three are now gone for complexity while two have fallen for MP. Freaky, Mike. It's Spotted out here, AY Smoke is gonna break. The Freak does back off, but Complexity, they might be looking to fight. There's the Wave of Terror, that's gonna hit on three. Now the Magic Missile follows it up, Rose with a great blink into a Slytherin Crush. There's the stun coming through from the Alchemist. They get one kill, they get another one on Swindle Melons. Moves gonna be the next one to fall. This game is looking just yet, but they are. 
over by this shrine. They do spot Eternal MV TPing over his MSS. They're trying to get that stun going, and there's the dominated creep getting the stun out on Z Freak. And with that, they'll bring him down once again. So they're going to have to use the Stampede for their retreat. And Complexity, while trying to be aggressive once more, it fails and blows up in their face again. We take a look over up top, 747. He'll be the next victim of this entire. Actually, mid, we do see Eternal Envy in a bit of trouble as well as Rose. Rose is getting very low. And they will find themselves a kill as the primal split is used. Monkey's Forever is going to not survive as the Radiance Burn is there and enough. A nice Echo Stomp. Not find enough. He'll be stunned up as well. Owie is here. There's the Wave of Terror. Moo in between the entire side of MP. The tier 2 bottom, the tier 3, it's not looking any better for him. The cliff is only going to extend the inevitable. There comes the tornado with the EMP. MSS in a bit of trouble. Gets a little bit of a mini stun out from the Enigma. So they need to make sure they're okay. There's the Chaotic Offering coming out on 3. The Fatal Bonds is there as well as the Black Hole. It's going to be enough to possibly bring down a couple. But there's the Earth Splitter. That'll stop Z Freak from really doing too much. They end up bringing down Eternal Envy. And now there's the Blink with the Slithering Crush. But Rose, he's put himself in really just harm's way as he will be the next one to fall on MP after the Aphotic Shield is popped. So 747 gets a double kill. It's a nice black hole as well as a Chaotic Offering. But now what do you do? You don't have the Chaotic Offering. You don't have the Black Hole. Now you don't have an Enigma. You get, or now you don't have the Invoker. You get the Hoof Stomp Double Edge out on two. But Centaur, he's looking to be in more trouble. A perfect Echo Stomp comes through from SVG. Now you're without two of your big time cores. So they're looking to get the racks. Mu coming in with the Thunderclap, putting himself in harm's way. There's the magic missile. Slytherin Crush comes on through from Rose. They'll get another kill. Chaotic Meteor, or Chaos Meteor comes on through. As I keep saying that phrase, I'm really trying to get off it. E -E, he's fought back. He's in a little bit of trouble with that Aphotic Shield. He will survive for a little bit longer. Will this tornado do it? It will. So just like that, we've lost Eternal Envy, but the Rampage is there for AUI. He takes out the Invoker. Z Freak, Swindle Melons, Moo. The Rampage continues. All five dead on Complexity, and despite losing Eternal Envy on this Alchemist, they'll wipe the entire team. They get the triple Rampage out on AUI. And the game, just like that, it's over. NP win, Complexity, they fall. And now what looks to be the group stage leaders of NP in... Uh